Captain Mandolino Ranjit Martin has said in his bail plea that the collision happened because of a navigational error, which was caused by the failure of radio communication. He said there was no error on his part and pointed out that he had been part of the industry for 18 years. Martin also said in his bail application that there was no point of sending him to police custody as there was nothing to recover from him. The Chitra had collided with the Collegia on Saturday and tilted dangerously. A leak in the ship caused its cargo of oil to start pouring into the sea, causing a huge oil spill. To make matters worse, some containers detached from the ship and started to float. There were fears that these contained hazardous material, but those 31 containers were later found secure in the ship's hold. The oil leak was finally plugged on Tuesday, but 800 tons of oil was spilt, double of what was thought earlier. Both the Mumbai port and the Jawaharlal Nehru port trust have been closed. The Mumbai port may not open till Friday. Black Pearl Resources Incorporated, the oil and gas explorer, posted a second quarter loss of 4 Canadian cents a share. Analysts expected a loss of 3 cents in Bloomberg survey. Manual Life Financial Corporation, Canada's largest insurer, had its insurer default rating cut by Fitch Ratings Limited. NAL Oil and Gas Trust, the energy producer with operations in Canada, posted a second quarter profit of 6 Canadian cents a share compared with the average analyst estimate of 2 cents in a Bloomberg survey. Sunopta Incorporated, the Canadian organic food producer, posted second quarter profit excluding some items of 10 cents a share compared with the 7 cent average analyst estimate according to Bloomberg data. United States Oil and Gas Corporations announced that its registration statement on Form 10 as amended filed with the Securities and Exchange Commission to register its common stock pursuant to Section 12G of the Securities Exchange Act of 1934 is now effective. The Form 10 includes a description of the business of the company, industry overview, management's discussion, analysis of financial condition, audited historical financial statements and other legal financial and risk disclosures. That's all the news making waves as of now. Do come back later for some more.